Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. Happy Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas when you're watching this. If you celebrate, I hope you have a great day. But today's video is going to be a little bit different because it is Christmas Eve. I have a lot of things to do today and I'm doing stuff with family, but I still wanted to get a vlog in. So I've been working on a little video of a 2023 recap with all the big things I've done throughout the year and I've gone through all of my videos from the year and found like clips and things I said and the trips I went on and I kind of made a little compilation that I'm going to put in this video. It's so cute and it makes me so happy to see how much I've changed and the things that I said word for word last year or at the beginning of this year being like I wish I had this like this is my goal and then achieving that and seeing that all unfold on video. So I put all those clips together. I hope you enjoy seeing that. But before we get into that, I want to talk about my New Year's resolutions for 2024 because this is going to be my last video of the year, I think. So I want to make sure I get to talk about like my goals and stuff. I have wrote down a bunch of New Year's resolutions over the past like month. I actually don't think they're much of resolutions, more of goals. Also, make sure you guys comment your list of goals and resolutions because I'm probably going to steal some off of your list. And also, I'm just nosy and curious. The first thing, <laughs> the first thing is boring, but I want to organize my closet and keep it that way. Emphasis on the keeping it that way because every time I clean and organize my closet within like two weeks there's clothes all over the floor nothing's hung up I just hate doing not that I hate doing laundry I hate folding and hanging up clothes so I just simply don't and then I wear all my clothes and then they're all over the floor of my room and then I wash them and then I it repeats the cycle I just take things out of the wash wear them put it back in the washer so I think I just need to like declutter my closet and then organize it. So that's one of my goals for the new year. The next goal is to start journaling more. I've talked about that before. I have a really bad memory when it comes to like specific events and I only remember things if people like trigger my memory. That's like scary to me. So I want to make sure I start like writing things down. I do keep like a pretty good video log of everything I do because I have this YouTube channel, but I don't like put all the details in and the stories and stuff that I'm going to want to look back on or like reminisce on in a few years. So I want to start journaling. I want to get into it a lot more. Then I want to figure out where I'm moving next or if I'm moving <laughs> in general. Um, this is just a goal for the year because my lease is until September. So once September comes around is when I actually have to start thinking about it, like probably throughout this summer. So that's more of a later in the year goal, but it will still be a goal for 2024 to figure out where I'm going next or if I'm staying in Charleston. The world may never know. I also put, I wanna start volunteering more. I used to volunteer so much in high school and early college. And then once COVID hit, I kind of stopped. I want to start doing the animal shelter thing I talked about where you get to foster the dogs for like a day just to take them out of the shelter and bring them on walks and stuff. And then there's just a bunch of other stuff that I wanna do. So another goal is to stop buying clothes. I do not need any more clothes, yet somehow I always have a package on the way of some article of clothing. I, I don't need any more clothes. Like I said, my, my closet is already disorganized enough. So one of my goals is to cut back on buying clothes. Like I just don't need anything more. And for every new thing I buy, I need to at least get rid of something, donate or sell it. Next goal is to read the books I already own. Okay, this has probably always been my goal, but I never actually like take it seriously and I probably won't take it seriously now. And it's to read through my physical TBR because I have all these books on my shelves that I haven't read, yet I still buy books and then I still read books on my phone. And then I order new books and I ignore all the books that are on my physical TBR. And then they just sit there. So my goal for this year is to start getting through the books that I physically own or else they're just a waste and sitting there. So that is definitely one of my goals. <laughs> the next one is to start going on dates. Now this is, this is pretty out there for me, but anytime I've ever gotten like a proposition, not a proposition, but like asked to go out, I oh, I never go. I always have an excuse. Mainly just cause like it gives me anxiety, it kind of scares me. But like, you need to open yourself up to more, like you need to get put yourself out there. Like all my friends get mad at me. They're like, you literally say no to everyone. And then you're like, oh, why am I single? That's, that's written on here? Don't think it's actually gonna happen. Next is answer my texts. I talked about this in yesterday's video, how my red flag and fatal flaw is that I never answer my texts and it's actually disgusting and annoying and I hated it about myself. So that's something I'm gonna actually work on is when I see a text, it takes two minutes to sit down and respond instead of letting it fester and give me anxiety and, and then it seems like I'm ignoring them but really I'm thinking about it 24 seven. I just need to start sitting down and answering my texts in a timely manner. There's a few things on here that are like work related that I don't want to say because if I say it, everyone's going to keep asking me about it. There's a few like social media work related goals and things I want to start and do. I'm not going to say those because I don't want to put any expectations out there. I think that's my whole list that I have written down. But what are some of your guys' goals? I'm curious. Overall, 2023 was an insane like crazy year of change. In a quick recap, I literally finished my senior semester of college at ASU, graduated from ASU, traveled all summer, spent a month with my cousins in New Jersey, backpacked Europe, 
My parents moved across the country to Florida. I stayed with them for a month. We went to the Grand Cayman Islands. Then I moved to Charleston by myself, started a whole new life, met so many people, met so many friends, and now my life is completely different than it was at the start of the year. Like, completely different. And it's just so crazy to look back on. And now that's why I'm gonna insert this compilation video I made, and then I'll come back and talk to you at the end. I booked a one-way ticket out of Arizona. <laughs> this is the state of my room, Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> Look who it is! We're starting a book club. Cheers! Oh God, take it look. Happy birthday! Long miss day one! That we're both single. I've been thinking about like, what the hell am I gonna do? when I graduate in a couple of months because I can move. I'm going to move somewhere. My whole life is gonna be different. I'm just like thinking like, where am I gonna go? <laughs> and I'm just like so tired of moving and I just wanna be like settled down, which I never thought I would say. But like, I wanna have like a home base where I feel comfortable and I don't have to keep moving my stuff and I can just unpack my life instead of living out of boxes and suitcases. I just wanna be like settled and at peace. And I feel like I haven't felt like that in a very, very long time. It's finally time to drive eight hours to Charleston, South Carolina to my new apartment. I'm having one of those moments where you just like stare at everything and you're just like, wow, I live here in South Carolina. Who would have thought? Not me. I genuinely from the bottom of my heart and soul think that this is the most peaceful place on the entire earth. Like I could sit here all day. Like it's so peaceful. I know I say that every single day, but I just cannot believe it. I don't think anyone understands how I'm gonna cry right now. I can literally just look out at the water and I just wanna cry. Cause like this is like the best day of my life. <laughs> I had a very peaceful, calm, relaxing, nice day today. I'm officially a local because the barista remembered my order. Guys, I just got inside my apartment. I'm gonna give an empty apartment tour. There's the office, which is really exciting for me because I'm probably gonna use it as like a library room. I think it looks really cute and I can't wait to keep filling them up as time goes on. Living room, gonna put the TV up here, couch. Oh my God, I have a couch. Why is this so heavy? Yay! I love it. Oh my god, it's been two and a half hours and I think I finished. I'm obsessed with this kitchen. It makes me want to film cooking videos. Here's my little baking setup. This is where everything can go very, very wrong. Those look so good. Right here is my bedroom. It's super bright and white. <gasps> I built my desk this morning. This is my favorite part, built-in bookshelf. Are you serious? It's like they knew I was gonna live here. I need to step on here. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall. That's what it looks like so far. I kind of want to live like a slow, peaceful life by the beach. I want to live in a walkable beach town. That's all I want. so excited for this new era and I have a good feeling about it. It's always nerve-wracking going somewhere new and like the unknown and the unexpected like it's always gonna be a little bit scary but I, I just have a good feeling about it and I feel like I'm gonna look back at the end of this lease and be like little did I know everything that was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> When you have the realization that your friends don't care about you the way you care for them, it's literally like a heartbreak. I feel like, especially at the age we're at, friendship 
in college and out of high school when you don't see someone every day is the most eye-opening experience because if they don't ask you to hang out you're not going to see them or if you're not asking them to hang out and if you feel yourself asking and asking and asking and it's every week if you just stopped asking i've done this before where i just stop asking to hang out and i'll go weeks without seeing anyone and i'm gonna stop doing that kind of stuff in this new year starting now i'm not gonna try anymore <laughs> i'm in this stage right now where i just like i have so much hope for the future of me finding people where I'm just gonna like fit in and everything I'm giving is gonna be reciprocated. And I have high hopes for you and I have high hopes for me. We're gonna find that. We're not gonna settle for anything less. New Year's resolution. When they say happy birthday, I was like, oh, mom, that's so cute. Like, I have friends. And she's like, how have I known you 20 seconds or 20, 20 years? years. <laughs> I just love everyone so much like that made my heart seriously so full just talking and laughing and telling stories and Playing those card games and singing and eating and having a good time All the girls set up all the outside table while I was gone getting my dress because they knew I was probably really stressed out Because I was so they set everything up and they made it beautiful and perfect and exactly what I envisioned in my head And like I didn't even have to ask them to do that like they just did it to help and like they set everything <laughs> just so nice and then we just ate and had a great time and that's exactly what I wanted that's literally all I wanted for my birthday and I'm so happy right now how come every single time I meet up with someone I'm just like my life has forever changed like that was amazing we went out to dinner we ended up sitting at this restaurant all we got was appetizers and drinks and we ended up sitting at this restaurant for f almost four hours we sat there till the place literally closed and the only people left there were the workers and they were all eating and we were like we looked around we were like oh we need to go. When I tell you me and this girl had everything in common, like she's a reader, Harry Styles fan, Swifty. We have the same exact favorite book. She read the Addicted Cowboy Sisters series. We were literally nonstop talking and it was just amazing. And like, I was like, how are we the same person? And will you be my best friend? <laughs> she was like, you're a loser. I lost in translation. Guys, here's the thing. <laughs> Look at this. Right. And he said, what you heard is true. <laughs> it is currently my last week of school ever in history of my life. I'm done with school. I'm 21 years old. I've been in school as long as I can remember since I was like four years old. And I just finished on a random Tuesday evening. Not only did I just finish school, but I also hit 600,000 subscribers. Congratulations to our graduates for this significant achievement. Go Sun Devils! I love spending my summers in New Jersey. I stay at my cousin's beach house every single summer and I love it. I, I, I wish you were so but I'm your home base, your own. Then I'm going backpacking with my brothers and each of our best friends, which is gonna be so fun. So there's gonna be six of us. Stop. Very dangerous. Oh. Oh. Again. I'm the mercy. My room. We already. I am a literal brand. Something about Big Ben at night. I'm here with Ellie. It's our yearly reunion, and guess where we are? <gasps> Brighton. I'm so happy to be in Brighton again. Oh, the deep looks better. Yeah. Yeah. I get my cute latte, but look how cute it is in here. Actually, a lot of people swimming in the sea. I'm feeling so nostalgic. <laughs> Oh, she was like, this is the best day of my life. Oh, they did a flip. Oh, oh, look at her go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
So that was like my 2023 all summed up in a few videos, which is really crazy to look at because I said all of those things and then I actually achieved them or I actually changed it and I actually like got the things I wanted, which is so crazy, especially when I think about the friendship stuff. Like I was so sad last year. Like you can watch my videos talking about like friends and everything falling apart and feeling like I had no one, like no genuine connections and I was just really upset. And then now in just a few short months, I have met like some of my favorite people ever. It just makes me so happy and just seeing myself at my old apartment at ASU versus now how is that the same person I just don't understand like I mean obviously I still feel the same but I feel so different at the same time it just really shows how much can change in a year so much changed for me this was probably like the biggest year of change of my entire life not even my parents live in Arizona anymore when I came home for the holidays like I came here to Florida to a town I've never really been to I don't know it at all I don't know anyone here like a whole chapter of my life where I lived in Arizona for like 10 years ended and then I started my whole own chapter in South Carolina in those videos watching myself be like I just wish I could be settled and at peace and have friends and then I found all of those things like I went out and did it if you want something you have to make it happen if you know something is gonna make you happy sorry it's raining if you can hear the rain but I just encourage it so much I feel like I did make a home in Charleston this year even though I want to experience more and I want to move other places it's like I do feel at home here and I do think I could literally stay there forever and be happy and I just love it so much and I think 2023 was such a good formative year I feel like it's just everything is falling into place exactly how it's supposed to be I'm very happy with where I am and where this year brought me and where we ended up and yeah, then onto the whole topic of vlogmas. When I was going through my videos, I found a clip of me maybe in 2021 or 2020 being like, I made a joke being like, I'm doing vlogmas. Just kidding, I could never do that. That's too hard. And then I did it this year. And that was another thing I was really proud of. Like as much as hard work as it was genuinely to film edit and upload every single day of the month. I did it. I proved to myself that I could do it. Now it's over. It's done. We finished it. We did it together. You guys spent the whole month with me. We had so much fun. I had so much fun. Now it's Christmas. Now it's time for the new year. More videos will be coming in the new year, of course. I'm not just going to go off the grid. Don't worry. I have a lot of stuff planned already, but yeah. I can't believe Vlogmas is over and I can't believe I did it. After watching people do Vlogmas since I was a little kid and now I did it, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed all of Vlogmas. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye!